Now, not to mention, I still am on the Lovenox, the injections, the medicine that I'm on, the blood thinner. Well, I had took it right before my water broke. Like, I took it and then an hour later my water broke at like 12 or like 1 o'clock. I was like, oh, shoot. So I told my doctor and he was like, oh, did you take your medicine? And I said, yes. And he was like, oh, we got to wait for that to get out your system because you can't have a baby and you be on blood thinners that, you know, you could die. So I was just like, oh, shoot, I forgot, you know, like. I knew I should have waited, you know, and been cautious to, to skip this dose because that was the plan, to skip the dose the night before, morning of the surgery, and then have the baby. But that plan kind of went out the window after I took the medicine. So, yeah, so we were in the hospital for like two days. And they, they said, well, they said 24 hours, and then we would have the baby because that's enough to get the medicine on my system. But then when 12 o'clock, like, we stood up all night excited, like, yes, we're going to have a baby at, like, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. So the nurse came in, gave me my medicine cause I, to stop my contractions or whatever because they didn't want me to go into labor. She came in, and she was like, wow, you guys are up. You guys should be getting some rest. And we're like, no, we're going to have the baby. He's coming in here, the anesthesiologist. And she said, oh, they didn't tell you? There's not enough staff on tonight, so you're going to have to have your baby, like, the next 12 hours from now. I was like, what? I was so pissed. I was like, oh, my God, you got to be kidding me. So we had to wait another 12 hours. Ah, So that's 40, 48 plus hours, literally it was, because it was over 12 hours. And we were waiting to have Thomas. And I was just so pissed, so... Uh, the anesthesiologist comes in here and he's like, yeah, we were short of staff. It was just me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, well, why didn't you say that? You know what I mean? You have me all excited waiting be to be done being pregnant. So, yeah, so after waiting and being in the hospital, I said, oh, not to mention when I was, when I got a minute finally into my room on the labor floor, um, yeah, I had all of my old nurses. It was just, like, amazing that these people were still here. And they they recognized me right away, like, my last name. And there was, like, four nurses come in my room when there was supposed to be one. And they were all like, oh, my God, you're back. Oh, my Lord, how is Talia? Blah, blah, blah. And, oh, my goodness, this is the 33-weeker. And... And since we had been in the hospital so long, it was, like, very touching because we had, like, got a relationship from the nurses. Like, on a cool, cool base, like, some of them, like, some of the staff and stuff at the hospitals, um, at the hospital or whatever, like, we actually kept in contact. So it was just a really um, great um, feeling to see them again. Now, <clears throat> the morning of, which I didn't know was the morning of, but I knew it was, like, about that time, like, yeah, I waited long enough. It's time to have them, and the medicine is definitely on my system. So, it was, like, around 7.50, going on almost 8 o'clock, and the anesthesiologist, he came in again, and um, he was all suited up and ready, and I was just, like, Yes, this is it. This is for sure it. When I see all, you know, all the surgical gear and stuff, I was so excited. I was like, yes, this is finally it. So then he um, he told me that there was going to be somebody before me and that I was going to be next. So um, I was, like, really excited. So the one before me, she went at 8 o'clock, and then I went in to be prepped at 9 or something. So I was just like, yes, finally. So he said, we'll come get you around 9 o'clock. And after they were done with her, they came and got me. This time around, my C-section, it went wonderful. Like, the nurse was, like, literally coaching me and singing to me and making sure that I was okay because I was kind of nervous a little bit but knew what to expect this time because it was a spinal tap. And then we had Thomas at 9.42. AM, um, like I said, he was five pounds, four ounces of delivery, and, um, he came out so light, it was so funny, because I was just like, who is this baby, and he was, like, crying, but he wasn't, like, screaming, 
but he was definitely like swinging a little bit and he peed on the nurse and I was just like oh yeah he's a fighter <laughs> but he wasn't like Talia he just doesn't like personal space which I'm learning that now because he doesn't like nobody to give him kisses, nobody to like hug him, be all up in his face because he starts swinging and he gets a little bit um, flustered. So yeah, so um, after I had him, I got sick. I was like super, super sick. And I really couldn't even be happy at the time because it seems like all my pregnancies, I couldn't be happy because I was so, so sick at that time. And so I really didn't get a chance to soak in, like, wow, I have a son. Like, I literally, I couldn't even think. I was throwing up, and I don't know. So they gave me this medicine, and then I was drowsy for the whole day, like, out of it. Oh, I was so pissed. Like, why would you give me that medicine? So after that went down, Thomas was in the room. I didn't even notice that he was in the room in his little, um, not incubator, but his little box or whatever, his little cubicle that he was in. And um, I was just like, wow, we get to have him in the room. Like, oh, this is a change because Talia right away went to the NICU. So um, the only thing was that he could keep his body temperature for a minute. But after that, he was good. Nothing was wrong with him. Um, my milk, it didn't come in the day of delivery. I was so mad. And it literally, like, Three days later, then my milk came, and I was so engorged that I pumped, like, 12 four-ounce bottles. It was just ridiculous. Like, I was pumping all night. And, um, yeah, so he, uh, he latched on. Uh, I am breastfeeding, but I don't know how long just because of my medicines and whatnot. But, um, yeah, so I'm breastfeeding. He latched on perfectly. I had no problems whatsoever. Like, it was the easiest. I think that is really about it as far as labor and delivery. We got to take him home right away, um, which was exciting because we didn't have to wait days and days or months like Talia. So it was great. I'll show you guys again, Tormin. Here it is. And he's so cool. And he's so cool with his little pink lord self. <laughs> Say bye bye. See you guys. Bye.